Greetings and trust you've had a great week. Today is the last day of the week. We come to our concluding devotional this week on the topic of money. We have looked at a few aspects. And remember that it is God who blesses you as part of his covenant. It is God's gift to you, wealth and riches, and so you can ask him to bless you, to increase you monetarily in every way. But then be faithful to obey the instructions in God's word, uh, to follow what he has taught us on how to handle money. And today, I want to close with this interesting verse in the book of Ecclesiastes, verses 19 and 20. Solomon said, A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes merry, but money answers everything. Do not curse the king, even in your thought. Do not curse the rich, even in your bedroom. For a bird of the air may carry your voice, and a bird in flight may tell the matter. Very interesting statement. Money answers everything. So therefore, be careful how you speak about those who have money, the king and the rich man. Very interesting. But this is in the Bible, and I believe that God has kept it there for a reason, for us to gain some wisdom and understanding out of it. So, you know, while there are certain things that can make people laugh and there are certain things that can make people happy, money answers everything. That means we must understand that money is important and money must be treated with respect. So if I were to paraphrase or restate these verses, I would put it like this. Money is important to life, and so it has to be treated respectfully. And don't speak evil of those who have money, the king and the rich man, because you don't know. Someday you may need their help, or you may need them to do something for you. So the message here is treat money with respect and treat people who have money with respect. This is not to say that money becomes so important in our lives, but most of us, especially believers, have swung to the other side where we don't care about money, we are uh, so careless about how we handle money to the point where we are disrespectful of money and we are disrespectful of people who have that. We talk so ill about them as though they are unspiritual, unimportant, so on and so forth. But the Bible says money answers everything. In this world, you need it, so treat it with respect. And when you honor God by treating it with respect, treating people who have it with respect, God will entrust you with so much more that you can bless others and be useful for His kingdom. Remember, our heart is set on the Lord, not on money, but we've got to be good stewards. And to be a good steward, you need to respect what God has put in your hands. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are with us. We know that as we journey through this life, there are so many natural, day-to-day, -day, mundane, daily things we have to handle. We have to handle money. Give us wisdom. Teach us, Lord, how to handle things with respect. To be good stewards and to glorify you in the way we handle money and treat people who have money. Thank you for what we've learned. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.